Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Is It Worth It? I know it has been a little while, but to be honest, there weren't any, any game passes or Robux items that I was really interested in. But today, something released on Tower Heroes, which as you know, is a game that I've been playing a lot lately. And the game pass is called Shoulder Hero. Shoulder Hero is a game pass that can be bought for 150 Robux, which just like the Spectre Music Game Pass is super cheap compared to other Game Passes. Once you bought the Game Pass, it is actually super simple to equip a Shoulder Hero to your shoulder. All you gotta do is go to the menu and go to the hero that you wanna have on your shoulder. In my case, it's obviously going to be Voka. And as you probably noticed right away, we are greeted with a brand new icon. Clicking the icon reveals a brand new menu in which you can equip it to your shoulder or hide it off your shoulder. Something that's also pretty nice is that you see the skin that it's going to wear. So let's set it on our shoulder. And oh my god, there it is on our shoulder. Super epic. And something that I noticed right away is that it's actually sitting on my head stack. Which, that is awesome. Because when I read the title of the Game Pass, it was something that I was pretty scared about. To have Voka sit on my shoulder and glitch through the head stack. It's also pretty cool that she even mimics the movement of our head stack. That's a plus right away something that is absolutely incredible while you have this game pass is that you can actually set the level of which towers appear on your shoulder for example when we click on voca level 3 and we equip it and that would look probably something like this Wow, that looks absolutely amazing this is such a cool feature unfortunately the Game Pass doesn't come with its flaws. And one of the flaws is that some towers are pretty big. And because of that, they can't fit on your shoulder. An example of this would be, for example, Fracture. The final level of Fracture is such a big model. And when you try to equip Fracture on your shoulder, you will notice that you will be greeted with the level 1 Fracture. And the reason for that is if the model turns out to be too big to be sitting on your shoulder, it will revert back to the biggest level that it can be on your shoulder. While this isn't the biggest problem for me, because... <laughs> Voca. It might be a problem for some of you. As for some of you, maybe some of the giant heroes might be your absolute favorite hero in the entire game. So it is something to keep in mind. Now you are probably wondering what heroes you can equip and what heroes you can't equip. The heroes that you can equip on your shoulder include... Level 1 Frank, Level 1 Card Kit, Level 2 Card Kit, Level 3 Card Kit, Level 4 Card Kit, Level 5 Card Kit, Level 1 Jester, Level 1 Spectre, Level 1 Voca, Level 2 Voca, level 3 Voca, level 4 Voca, level 5 Voca, level 1 Lemonade Cat, level 2 Lemonade Cat, level 3 Lemonade Cat, level 4 Lemonade Cat, level 5 Lemonade Cat, level 1 Bebo, Level 1 Scientist, Level 1 Chef, Level 1 Wizard, Level 2 Wizard, Level 3 Wizard, Level 4 Wizard, Level 1 Slime King, 
Level 2 Slime King. Level 3 Slime King. Level 1 Fracture. Level 1 Dumpster Child. Level 2 Dumpster Child. Level 1 Bite. Level 1 Bunny. Level 2 Bunny. Level 3 Bunny. Level 4 Bunny. And last but not least, level 5 Bunny. All the other ones cannot be worn as a shoulder hero. So, in conclusion, the Shoulder Hero Game Pass allows you to wear most of your favorite heroes on your shoulder, change the skin and change the level, which is absolutely amazing. Also, I just can't deny the fact that I'm so grateful and happy that I took the time to put the model on the head stack, which is super, super cool. At this moment in time, the only problem that the Game Pass has is that some of the bigger models, which might be your favorite, can't be on your shoulder. But if you consider the small price of 150 Robux, compared to all the stuff that you can do with it and the amazing tiled out GUI, I don't think it is that big of a deal. Personally, I would give this Game Pass a 9.2 and it is a Game Pass that if you want to support the developers that you should absolutely pick up. It is super cool and super cute. So once again in a nutshell, this Game Pass is absolutely amazing and one that is something that just is so me. It's cute, it's fun, I absolutely love it. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!